Okay, so far my pants aren't falling down. Let's go to the much less expensive rebound. Oh man. Oh man. <clears throat> oh shit. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so the rebound air is definitely more jarring. You know, when you compare it over here. The bungees have I can't I can't hit the bottom of the bounce here unless I hit my head on the ceiling, so I'm not gonna do it. But but my pants are staying in place. Now I'm gonna, just for control purposes, I'm gonna hop over here on the athletic, which is uh, the belt kind that's made for uh, 180 pounds or more. Okay. So let's go over here to these. <laughs> and to be fair, I'm keeping my pants in the same position, which is just, you know, opening up the, the button and the flies at the top. This is this is the knee deck. Quite secure around the hips. Oh yeah. And the urban rebounder. Which all these it appears that the urban rebounder, the knee deck, and the stellar sizer use the same they use the same uh, basic frame. They're supplied uh, with the same with the same hinges, but uh, no, no trifold on these two. So the balance bars that are to need for the exercises that require it. And <laughs> oh, they're coming down. If I keep doing this, they're gonna fly. <laughs> okay, so. Um, so, so again, um, this is just uh, the jarring test. I'm using my pants to uh, illustrate the impact on uh, connective tissues and the spine, especially. Okay, right here. Totally losing it. Right here, we have tapered springs, definitely. And I think that's what's making the difference. Wait, I think these are the spring. Yep. See that? Uh, generally a pretty even bounce, especially compared with Urban. This is the rebound here. Spelled uh, all one word. And uh, Terry sleeps upstairs. If I were to get up in the morning and start doing this before she woke up. I'll be hearing from her in about like, five minutes. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right. Triple tiered springs are a hybrid, I guess, of the barrel and the tapered spring concept. And let's get a close up of those. Well, it appears like they're tapered springs, but they have three sections. And according to the uh, the website literature, since I weigh 130, or between 125 and 130 pounds, I only use the first uh, the, the first tier, part of the second tier, and uh, I don't dip into the third tier. But these uh, supposedly adjust to your uh, to your weight for your uh, for your optimum balance. So let's just, let's just get them in action here. Kind of skirt it there. Yeah, I see that. Let's look at the rebound air springs. Can you get a real close up on those springs in action? Okay, now I'm going to expose the springs on the knee to act. The urban. Ah. Oh, sorry. Uh. All right. So, uh, just for comparison, let's check out the bungees over here. Again, I think this looks like a sea creature. These bungees are probably about, I don't know, even. 
I've been rebounding this for about two years now, so it's uh, it's almost time to change these. In fact, I'm missing one. One of them totally just like flew off on me. It's over here, but you don't have to, you don't have to look at that. And uh, let's look at these are totally different on the Bellicon. This is a beautiful rebounder. All right, here we go. Let's just watch. Right now. Focus on those screens right there for when I get on it, like the ones that are on the belt on here. See it, ready? I'm hardly doing anything. Man, I, I, you need to be about 200 pounds to really get the most out of this to the bottom of or whatever. Okay, I need a shower already. You can cut.